It drifts into our lives, exposing us to risk. Secondhand smoke may seem harmless, but it's toxic, and no one is safe. It's time to say no to all types of secondhand smoke. Coming up on the TV News tonight at 8, former billionaire CEO John Kapoor was sentenced to 66 months in prison, the culmination of a criminal trial in Boston, resulting in the first successful prosecution of a pharmaceutical executive tied to the opioid epidemic. The 76-year-old founder of Insys Therapeutics made the potent opioid painkiller Subsys. Senators reconvene in the Capitol for the third day of President Trump's impeachment trial. House Democrats argue the president abused his power by pressuring Ukraine for his own personal gain. Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan at the World Economic Forum in Davos said Osama bin Laden was able to find refuge in Pakistan because groups like Al-Qaeda were viewed as heroes rather than terrorists. In May 2011, bin Laden was killed by U.S. Special Forces in Pakistan near one of their military bases. And India is considering incentives to woo Apple and Samsung suppliers to open factories in the country. Those stories, all the news tonight at 8. Join us.